On May 22, 1956, the crew of a U.S. Navy plane were flying between the islands Oahu and Kauai when they observed an unusual sight. A patch of brownish-yellow material was present in a section of the ocean measuring more than 1,000 feet across. As they got closer, a strong sulfur odor was detected by the crew. What had just occurred was a submarine volcanic eruption in an area thought to be void of volcanic activity. Although this eruption cannot be necessarily linked to the island of Oahu, it implies the possibility that its volcano is not truly extinct but rather in a long-term period of dormancy. Several young volcanic features exist on the island of Oahu, such as the Diamond Head Tuff Cone. This video will discuss the Oahu Island Volcano and mention what its future hazards are along with its odds of erupting once again. The remote Hawaiian islands exist due to an underlying hotspot in the mantle. This hotspot does not move, but the crust overlying it does. Thus, over many millions of years, this hotspot constructed dozens of volcanoes, thus forming the Hawaiian island chain. Although the majority of molten rock is concentrated on the Big Island of Hawaii and its four volcanoes, some material also manages to go into the Haleakala volcano on Maui. On even rarer occasions, this magma can reach a bit further west, such as Oahu. The modern island of Oahu was constructed via eruptions from two large shield volcanoes. Waianae built the western half of Oahu while Kualau built the eastern half of the island. The Waianae volcano began forming 3.8 million years ago when a large amount of magma erupted onto the ocean floor. Over a duration of approximately 100,000 years, numerous submarine eruptions built this volcano until it reached the ocean's surface. From 3.8 to 2.2 million years ago, a large shield volcano with a curved rift zone constructed the western half of the island of Oahu. Beginning around 2.6 million years ago, a second volcano known as Kualu erupted. This shield volcano was also constructed in a massive oblong edifice over the next 800,000 years. Then, for 300,000 years, this volcano lied dormant. Suddenly, one and a half million years ago, something caused the entire eastern half of the volcano, cutting right through the eastern half of its caldera, to catastrophically collapse into the ocean. This landslide was one of the largest known to ever occur on the planet and resulted in 5,000 cubic kilometers of rock traveling up to 230 kilometers to the north. Debris from this landslide even created several large underwater mountains such as the seamount shown on screen. What remained on the island was a prominent ridge representing the western edge of the prior collapse. The remnants of the original caldera now lie in Kayane Ohe Bay, which was once the center of the volcano. For the next one million years, the volcano lied dormant once again. Then, 500,000 years ago, a new more explosive phase of eruptions began. These eruptions occurred along the southeast coast of the modern island, constructing several massive explosion craters known as tuff rings. One of these tuff rings, known as Diamond Head, formed 400,000 years ago. It formed when a large volume of magma intruded into the crust, which heated the abundant groundwater and caused it to flash to steam. Eventually, the steam became highly pressurized and a massive explosion occurred. At least 30 similar eruptions occurred during this time span, forming what is known as the Honolulu Volcanics. The two youngest eruptions occurred 75,000 years ago, forming Punchbowl Crater, and 40,000 years ago, forming Hanuma Bay. Since then, no additional eruptions have occurred on the island. If a future eruption was to occur, it would most likely originate in eastern Honolulu or adjacent to Keloko Beach. Luckily, additional eruptions are not truly certain. The overall volcano during its latest phase of activity erupted once every 10,000 years over the past 500,000 years. Yet, it has been 40,000 years since the last eruption. Any future eruption is likely to be highly explosive, creating pyroclastic flows and requiring a 10-mile evacuation radius. Overall, the odds of this volcano erupting each year are about 1 in 40,000. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please fill a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.